Speaking of psychology and, and, and the psychology, here's this clip from you on CBC. Take a look at this. I used to think of her as a sort of alter ego. Now I think of her as my evil twin <laughs> because little by little she is taking over my life. My theory is that by the time we get to Zeus for Zero, there will be no Sue Grafton. There will, you will be talking to Kinsey Milhone, and mental illness will then be totally invasive. I will be institutionalized, and I don't know what she's going to do. Back in the day. I stand by that. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you ever had moments at home where your husband looks at you and says, easy, Kinsey. <laughs> No, he doesn't do that. No. But he does worry sometimes. When I was doing Eyes for Innocent, I, I was interested in whether you could fire a 38 through a peephole in a door, front door. And so I was out there unscrewing the thing. And he came by and he went, what are you doing? I thought, well, I'm just unscrewing this because if you rang the bell and somebody came to the door, you would know they were there and you could shoot them through the hole. And he was so nice to me the rest of the day. It was just... <laughs> When I did the poison mushrooms, I mean, I, you can't imagine how gallant he was, so. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Rock once said that you've never truly been in love unless you've once thought of killing your partner, right? At least one oh, point, yeah. you have to consider that, right? <laughs> yes. Well, I did that, as you know. You probably know the, You know everything about well, it. And I did hear that you used to fantasize about killing your second husband. Is yeah, that number accurate? two. Number yeah. two, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, symbolic. Um, because I was getting divorced, he had put me through these three custody battles. I won number one and three, lost number two. And I didn't have money. I didn't know how to fight. And what could I do but lie there thinking of ways to kill him? Mm -hmm. And came up with some beauties. I did. However, as I've stated, rule governed in Kentucky, where I was born, you're taught two things. See, everything comes down to two things. One. Never call attention to yourself and never make anyone else uncomfortable. If you murder someone, you have already violated both of those premises. <laughs> so I thought I better, I knew I would get caught. Who, who could have imagined that the only reason you didn't go to jail was I know. two rules in Kentucky? <laughs> exactly. I'd have been sitting here in a prison dress right. eating French fries, you know, which is all they serve in prison. But up here, our French fries would have cheese curds and gravy. I've and heard about it, right? that. I have heard about that. So that talk about a murder method. <laughs> <laughs> Prolonged death, Mrs. Poutine.